We are given matrix A and asked to find the characteristic polynomial of the matrix and express it in terms of the variable x, not the variable lambda. And again, it's asking for the characteristic polynomial, not the characteristic equation. To determine the characteristic polynomial, we need to find the determinant of the difference of matrix A and lambda times the identity matrix. But we'll be using the variable x instead of lambda. We could also use the alternative form shown here below. I'm gonna go ahead and use this first form. So we'll have the determinant of the difference of matrix A and X times the identity matrix. This gives us the determinant of, again, matrix A minus X times the two by two identity matrix, which is equal to the determinant of the difference of the matrix two, negative 10, negative three, six, and the matrix with entries x, zero, zero, x. Notice here I just performed scalar multiplication with the x. And now we find the difference of these two matrices and then find the determinant. The first entry is two minus x. The second entry in row one is just negative 10. The first entry in row two is just negative three. And the second entry in row two is six minus x. And now we find the determinant. The determinant is equal to the product of two minus x and six minus x minus the product of negative 10 and negative three. Let's multiply the two binomials. Two times six is 12. And then we have two times negative x, which is negative two x and then negative x times six, which is negative six x. Negative two x minus six x is negative eight x, giving us minus eight x. Then we have plus x squared, and then we have minus 30. The last step is to combine like terms. Notice how we have two constants. Let's also write the terms in descending order. We have x squared minus eight x, and then 12 minus 30 is equal to negative 18, giving us minus 18. This is the characteristic polynomial for matrix A. If we did want to find the eigenvalues of matrix A, we would set the characteristic polynomial equal to zero and solve. I hope you found this helpful.